Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a full body workout. So our arms, core, legs and our glutes. So all you're going to need is two dumbbells and we're just going to start off with a nice gentle warm up. So we're just rolling the arms back. We're going to do 10 one arm, 10 the other and then we're going to do 10 both forward. And then we're just going to hug them across our body and do some side twists. And now we are just stretching out our lower body. So just doing some nice deep lunges forwards and then holding it at the back. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other leg. And now we are just going to stretch our back out. So we're going into a nice sealed position, shoulders back, and we are just twisting to the sides. So we are also stretching a little bit of our lats out and also our lower back. And then we are just going to rock back and forward and then hold a child's pose for a few seconds. And then bring your arms back and reach them to the ceiling for a few seconds. And lastly, we are stretching out our hips. And now we're going to start the workout. So first thing, you're just going to punch the arms forward, hold the dumbbells with the palms facing down. And we are doing one arm followed by the other arm and then both together. And we are going to do 10 of these in total. Thank you. 
And then after this, we're gonna do 10 shoulder press with the dumbbells. So squeezing our shoulders as we come up and then nice big exhale, come down nice and slow. Next thing we are going to do is a sort of diagonal raise. So we are going to go for 10 and again you're squeezing the shoulder, more so the front delt and again keeping my core tucked in and squeezing our muscles. And next we are going to go in to some tricep extensions on our knees. So really squeezing the tricep at the top, bring the elbow as high as you can, and then control and come back down. We also have that little back row movement in as we come up, and then followed by the tricep extension. And then we are gonna do the other arm and same again, keep to 10 reps. And next thing we are going to do is move on to our back and we are going to do some bicep curls while we are there and as we come down we should be squeezing our arms and also make sure you are flipping your palms over and under so when we come up we are working the biceps and as they come down we are working the forearms. And once you've completed 10 of those, we're going to hold the dumbbells up a couple of inches off the floor, keep our chin tucked in, and we are doing some bent leg raises. So tapping our toes off the floor, and then extending all the way back up. And we are going for 10, Well done. Next thing we're going to do is 10 sit-ups into our cross punches. So making sure we are keeping the dumbbells high, we are not punching low and we are squeezing our core at the top. And we want to make sure we come up about three quarters of the way so that we still have our core engaged. Well done. Next thing we are gonna do is pop our dumbbell behind one of our legs. Make sure it's in there nice and tight and we are gonna do single leg glute bridges 
and with the opposite arm to leg you're going to keep that in front holding the dumbbell and with the glutes you're going to squeeze them as well keep the core nice and tight at the top and then control as you come down and the foot which is on the floor you want to be putting all our weight into that heel and once you've done 10 you can probably guess we're going to swap over and do exactly the same thing so squeezing that dumbbell in between our leg and holding that opposite dumbbell in the other hand Good job guys next thing we're going to do is some arm movements back so this is really going to work our real delts and our triceps as well so you're going to keep your head flat on the floor glutes squeezed and legs just relaxed and our palms are facing the ceiling gripping onto them dumbbells nice and tight and we are going for 10. And once you've completed them, we are going to go into some chest raises. So really working that lower back strength. Bring the dumbbell out in front and then bring it back in before you come back down. And we are going to do 10 of these in total. Good job guys. So next thing we're going to do is pop the dumbbell again in between our leg, just sort of at the bottom of the hamstring and we are squeezing our glute. This one is really going to work our hamstrings and our glutes and we are just raising that knee off the floor by a few inches or just as high as you can get it. If you do start to feel it in the lower back, maybe just don't bring the leg up quite as high because we want to be feeling this in the lower body, so the hamstrings and the glute muscles. And once you've done 10 on both legs, you can have a little stretch. So just straighten out your arms and then come up onto your hands and knees again. So here we are going to do our kickback variations. And we are squeezing up, tilting our knee to the side bringing it back to neutral and then back out again. So in total we're going to do 10 and we are trying to keep that knee in level with the glute as best we can and also squeeze in the side glute so we can keep that knee nice and high at the side. And then once you've done 10 we are going to go into some standard glute kickbacks. So you you can have your foot pointed or flex, whatever feels best for you.
and then lastly we're going to do 10 bringing it behind that support and leg which is on the floor so try and tap that knee off the floor and then bring it back up And then when you've done 10, we're gonna do all that on the other leg, so the three different variations. So it's going back and to the side for 10, 10 normal standard bent leg kickbacks, and then 10 of the working leg, just joining at the back behind the support and leg. And then you can have a nice deep child's pose to relax after that one. And then what I'm gonna get you to do is flip over onto your back and we are gonna pop the dumbbell in between our ankles or feet. And we are going to do 10 in and out. So as you can see, I'm on my elbows just to give me a bit of support. However, you can make it a little bit more difficult lifting your elbows off the floor. Or you can do this one lying down as well. And again, 10. Try and hit that tabletop position at the top. And all you're going to do from there is lie back, bring your knees a little bit higher. And we are holding the dumbbell in front of us, trying to reach for our toes. So we are doing that crunch movement and then we are doing a chest press. So bring the dumbbell to the lower chest, squeeze the chest muscles and then come back up, squeeze the core. And once you've done 10 of them, you're going to come back to a tabletop position with the leg. And we are doing 10 tricep extensions on our back. So squeezing our tricep as we come up and then control as we come down. And we're going to do 10 on each arm, keeping that tabletop position. So making sure our knees are just above or slightly below our hips so that we are working our core as well or you can do it with some extended legs which is going to be harder
and give them legs a nice stretch out before we go on to our tricep dips. So as you can see, I've just popped the dumbbell on top of my hips and we are doing 10, making sure the elbows are coming all the way back. And then we are having a quick rest before we go into another 10 reps. And then lastly, we're gonna do five single leg tricep dips on one leg. And then the same again, five on the other leg with that extended leg. And last but not least, we are gonna do a plank variation and we are reaching that knee to the opposite elbow. So we're gonna do a few of them and then we are gonna follow it with 10 plank hip dips. So dropping that hip to the floor as far as you can, keeping the obliques and core engaged. And we're gonna do this a few times until that core is really burning especially seeing as it is the last exercise. And that is going to be the full workout complete. Well done if you got to the end. If you would like to see more videos, click here. And if you would like to subscribe, please click here. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.